And I think people might not see that they are part of a treaty relationship. And that's where that misunderstanding comes in. There's a general misconception out there that Indigenous peoples get everything for free. That's education, health, housing, that they don't have to pay, pay things like taxes. People may not be aware, but every single person in this territory and elsewhere in a large swath of the country uh, participates in treaty and those treaty relationships in that space. These agreements that were made over 150 years ago between First Nations people and Canadians to live in a space and both thrive together. And that means that each side uh, agreed to a certain set of rights in relationship to the other side. For First Nations people, it would be the recognition that they would get a land reserved for them. On that reserve, there would be certain infrastructure, there would be roads, there would be elements of housing, there would be sewage, there'd be fresh water to drink. That's the agreement in order for Canadians to have access to, let's say, the city of Winnipeg. Those lands Canadians enjoy and drive upon and live upon and go to university at. And while Canadians may not think about it, um, they have tremendous benefits. In fact, I would say far more so than the very specific benefits that First Nations get. Because all the things that First Nations were promised at treaty time have been chronically underfunded, have been underserved, and therefore Indigenous peoples, First Nations people, often have to wait years for the things that Canadians get instantly. The greatest harm by not correcting this misinformation is that Canadians might then have resentment or misunderstanding of both of their relationship to First Nations people, but then also a general misunderstanding of what it means to be Canadian. If we don't correct these misperceptions about each other, and particularly about Indigenous peoples, if we allow them to linger and we allow them to fester and then change and mutate into things like harmful stereotypes or making statements or carrying bias into the voting booth, let's say, we won't be able to reach the fullest potential of a Manitoba and a Canada that we possibly could be. That's truly what is the urgency of correcting these so many misperceptions about Indigenous peoples and that generally it's about us learning to love each other.